underneath the car and you can see I've got the traction bars uh, just kind of hanging there right now now the uh, on the driver's side the shock is in the back and on the passenger side the shock mount is in the front so this whole perch is uneven from side to side so I've already making a me taking a measurement where the rubber stopper is going to hit on this side and this side so they actually are even the way they're hanging right now but the problem is if you wanted to leave them like this you can see that the front is touching the perch and the back is about an inch away well on this side the front is about an inch and the back is touching the perch so the question is what do we do with this space here um, do I make some kind of a uh, a spacer do I make it out of aluminum do I make it out of steel do I make cut down a hard piece of uh, hard piece of rubber um, you know it's hard to say so you may have noticed I've also got air shocks on the back because with these wide tires um, they rub so you can't it's very hard to put a tire this size on the back of these cars with the standard suspension uh, because they rub I eventually would love to go to a four link but for now we're just gonna run this the the factory suspension in the back and uh, the air shocks they just have a little bit of air in them so the wheel wells don't rub it keeps it up in the air and I have a feeling that these if I can make these uh, traction bars work uh, they may stiffen up the suspension just a little bit also so um, now I do have the uh, I put the dual exhaust from Summit Racing it's got the X-pipe comes down off the headers in the X-pipe and then I've just got it into two turbo mufflers and I can see that I just turned them down right before the rear end um, so I think that's about the best setup for this car uh, I did it myself instead of going to a muffler shop so uh, I didn't run I didn't I don't have a pipe bender to run it up over the axle of the, the rear end so I think this works out pretty nice and um, the sounds really good those headman headers actually sound really well and I just want to I'll give you a back view I changed the bumper I took the bumper off and I put the uh, fiberglass tucked bumper and we did the three reds I don't like the look of the factory Mustang two tail lights and anybody who's in the Mustangs knows that the amber light that goes here is the exact same size as this one so go find yourself another set of tail lights and take that amber light out and I may make a video and show you how to do that it's very simple all right till next time